Hi guys, welcome back to another interesting tutorial. My name is Angela and thank you so much for coming around. If you are new here, welcome to the family. Please subscribe if you have not. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime I post new videos. So today I'm going to show us how to make a fluffy ball dress using only 1000 Naira, which is equivalent to $2. And if you want to know how it is done, continue watching. All right, here are the things I'll be using for this tutorial. I have my bridal satin here and I'm working with half yard. So this half yard, I got it for 250 Naira. And I have my net, which is the main thing needed for this project. So I have my net and I'm working with five yards. And this is, um, I got this for 500 Naira. It could be more depending on your location. So I have my half yard of lining as well and my, um, hard net because i'll be adding hard net to it and i'm also using half yard so for the hard net the half yard is 300 it could be more depending on your lo location and then my lining the half yard i'm working with is 120 naira and of course my zipper is 50 naira so if you do the plus and minus you can see that it's 1000 naira so we're going to get started now by um starting with the upper part here i have my pattern and i believe as a returning subscriber you should know how to draft a basic bodice pattern so i'm going to take this now and cut it out on my satin as well as on my net and then we continue so here i have everything cut out as you can see so this is the back pattern and you can see that i've added um, some layers of my net already on it because i don't want my satin to be too visible and i have my lining although my lining is a little off that is the color but I'll, I'll use it like that so now this is the body part the front bodies which is where we are going to uh, become a little creative this is a low budget dress but we want it to look a little expensive so to do that this is what i'm going to do you can see here i have um like four layers of my net here so i'm going to place three on this and just pin it and then we're going to work with only one we're going to um, design one of it before placing it on the rest of this part. Okay, so I'm going to pin the three like I said earlier and then I'll have one left. So for this one that is left now, we are going to be creative. Like I said, it is very easy. You just play with this part, you know, just, you know, don't, I don't want it to be too plain or too simple. So you just need to create something on this part. So to do that, I have um, some leftover fabric here, I'm um, sorry, net here from uh, the last video that I posted, this is what I have left. And I'm going to use it to um, create something unique on this part. You know, in this business, like I always say, nothing should be wasted. So I'm going to cut out two inches from this. So I'm going to cut as many as I can. And then we are going to fold and then place it on this part. Okay, so I'm going to cut out two let me just cut it out and show you before cutting the rest of it so this is two inches this is two inches and on this other side i'll also make it two inches so i need to cut these parts off okay so i have two inches by two inches here now what i'm going to do is to bring this edge you can see that this is looking like a square so i'm going to take i hope you can see what i am doing Okay, so now I'm going to take this edge and bring it to the center like this and I'll take this other edge to meet up with this one at the center like this and then we're going to have something that looks like this. Okay, let me just give this a good press so you can see the shape that I'm trying to create. And this is the shape that I'm trying to explain earlier after giving it a press. This is how it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to cut out many of these, then I'm going to place it on this front side here. You can decide to place it um, this way, or you can just turn it, or you can even make it like a circle all round until you close this part up very nicely. So I'm going to um, cut as many as I can, and then I'm going to show you how to attach this on this part before we place it on the main, uh, that is with the rest of this particular one. So let's just take it one at a time. Let me cut out uh, more of this and then we we'll finish up. All right, here you can see that I just finished ironing them. You can see the shape that I have here. I don't really know the name of this shape. If you know what this shape is called, you can just drop it in the comment section. So I'm going to place this now on this one. Remember I said that you need to take one off. That is your net. Remove one after placing the others on your satin. So you're going to remove one where um, we're going to place all this. So this is the part that you need 
to be creative like I said earlier. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to note the half inch that I left for the side sewing allowance and the half inch for the waist sewing allowance. So I'm going to start by pinning. You can see that I left my half inch space here for the side sewing allowance and the half inch also on this waist sewing allowance and then I'm going to pin. Okay, so I'm going to continue pinning until I get to the other end. Now you're going to place, um, you're going to let this edge to touch this other edge like quarter an inch. And then I'll pin. So I'm going to continue like that until I get to this other end. So make sure to maintain the half inch space for the sewing allowance you know when it comes to sewing baby dresses detailing is very very important that is why you need a lot of patience to do any baby girl dress okay so now this is the end of this side you can see that i have my half inch also on this other side okay so before cutting out this you can um check um the size that you're working for then you will know how many pieces that will go in for each of your lines so i'll just be as well okay so after pinning now we are going to sew it on this center line okay if you want you can also just stitch it on this part that i just pinned that is this side that is overlapping you can just um stitch it there if you don't want your thread to be that visible so this is the first step to do now the second thing to do now is to take another one to create something different and you can see i am placing it like this in between this space that i have here making sure that this edge is also touching on this other one and then i'll also pin remember this is a very simple dress but we want it to look beautiful and you know a little expensive so i'll just pin okay and i'll also repeat the same on this other one okay you can see the way i am placing it just to give me a nice looking shape there and i'll also pin okay and this is another one i'll also pin if you don't want to follow this method you can decide to um, switch or turn this to any way you want it to be i'm just using this to show you this is for me is the easiest method if you want you can cut out another shape it can be a circle a rectangle and then use it to create something unique all right so this is how it is now i'll just take another one to close it up this is the shape that i want to create you can see what i have here this is the shape that i want this part to have so I will just pin. So I'll just continue like that until I finish with all that I have here. Okay, I am closing up this as well. All right, we need to finish it up. So this is where we are so far. Then I'll continue like that following the same way. You can see on this part, I'll just place this on it. Okay, don't worry about this side. Um, sewing allowance because by the time we sew i am going to raise this up this way and so and then this is going to overlap on the back side which is not bad so i'm going to place it as it is and then p after pinning now i am going to take another one to close it up okay following the shape that we have yeah, so this is very easy um, on this upper side you just need to follow the same method okay and then finish it up now for these openings here you can decide to make use your net to make a little um, kind of rose just to close this up or you can use your um, beads or your pearls just to give it a good uh, finishing okay so I'll just continue and then I'm going to show you how I'll be stitching mine Okay, we'll just close it up just that same way until we finish everything up. Okay, so for this upper side, like I said, you just follow the same way. 
so after stitching it, this is what I have. I stitch, remember the way I explained earlier, I just sew it exactly on the center so that this will not be moving around. And I use this to cover up the stitching line. Like I said earlier, you can decide to use your bead or your curls, just something to close up the stitching line. So I decided to use this just to close the stitching line. So here you can see that I have spaces here. This is four and this part is two spaces. So if you want, you can leave it as it is. But for me, I will not be leaving it as it is. I would like to add a little rose just to close up um, this space. You know, when it comes to um, designing, you just need to be very creative. So I'll just um, use a little rose to close up this. And to do that, you can see here I have a long strip that I'll be using to make the rose. So this is 20 inches by one and half by one and half inches you can see so this other way is 20 and then you use your gather stitch to run it on this end now it is already on fold remember that it's already on fold before i measure the one and half then you pull it together and you have something that looks like this so now you just need to um, fold it in just move it a little round to give it that rose shape okay it's very easy there's nothing much to this part after which i'll use my hand needle to stitch it on this space okay so i'm going to um repeat this on the rest of this remember this is two this is four that is six roses so i'll just do that just to give it um a more beautiful look so after doing that now i will join the back side so this is where we are so far after attaching the roses this is what i have like i said earlier you can skip this part so I join the back and I believe you already know how to sew the neckline, the armhole and then turn it inside out. I just gave it a little press. So all that is left for me now is to join the sides together. So I'm going to explain a bit for this skirt part. This is the skirt part here and you can see that I've finished sewing this already. Why I did not show this part is because I have a lot of videos on how to make your uh, ball dress fluffy without adding any hard neck. So you can check those in uh, the video out. But I'm going to explain what I did here because there's a little difference in this particular one so the first thing i did was to cut out a full flare that is a 360 degree flare which is what i have here so i just cut that out and then mark lines like i always say you just mark like two or three lines and then sew in the net so that by the time you finish it's going to help the net to stand out so that is what i did on this one the one in my video, the, la um, the one I, ju I just referred now, how to make a fluffy ball dress without adding any hardness. I used um, 180 degree flare on that particular one. So this, I used a 360 degree flare. That is just the difference. Okay. And then I used my four yards of net on this particular one. So all that I did, like I explained earlier, after marking your lines, I now cut out. I just used one piece like this. I did not double it. I just cut it out one um, piece like this and then sew it on the lines it's only on this one that is sitting exactly on the waist that i double as you can see i just double it so that it will add um, a little weight so that is what i did this is four yards and then my remember i'm working with five yards so the one yard i use half to cut out this particular flay and the other half i use for the body's part now if you want to use the half to cut out a flay like this you need to divide the one yard into two that is the height should be by 30 and the width should be by 36 which is one yard that way if you fold it will be easy to cut out so i'm going to join all this now i'm going to join it to the net you can see i've not joined it and it's already fluffy so i'll just join it to the waist and then add this upper one and then add my lining it's as easy and simple as that so i'll just quickly do all this and show you the final look of the dress so guys this is the final look of the dress as you can see it's already looking so beautiful now this is the layers like i said i use one on each of the layers so this is what my five yards um can give me and you can see that this is looking so beautiful so on this waistline now you can decide to also make use of um roses just to close it up or you can use your trimming to close up on this waistline all right so just give this a try at the end of the day, I ended up, after calculating properly with all these, I ended up, I observed that I used 1,170 naira to make this beautiful dress that you're seeing here. Assuming I want to resell, how, how much do you think I can resell this beautiful dress? All right, so give this a try and you will see that you can actually make money from making baby girl dresses. All right, so that is it for today. Please subscribe if you have not and I will see you all in my next video.